There is a housing crisis in the world. One billion people are without access, according to certain studies, to actual shelter, food, water. And there's one company that seeks to fix it all. It is called Icon, and they just recently said that they can fix the housing crisis by 3D printing a house. Let's take a look at the video. that there was like the actual sound on that video so we could have heard the <laughs> just like a it's amazing well here's the, <laughs> the technology is able to print a single story 650 square foot house out of cement so that was cement it was right soft right. serving into <laughs> stacks um, in 12 to 24 hours at a fraction of the time it takes new construction uh, the Vulcan printer is the name of the machine. It can print an entire home for $10,000 and plans to bring costs down to $4,000 per house. Yeah, the other videos are cool. They just actually like plop the wires down and like the plumbing pipes and stuff like right on the cement and the next layer just gets printed right over it. So right like, over and around it. Yeah, it's they just, can put everything like in the wall as it's printing, which yeah. is cool, which is cool. I will say this article does not cast this company in a very responsible light. They're like, okay, so the first model scheduled to be unveiled today. And then they go into like, yeah, I'm gonna go in the trial model and use it as an office. How does it look? How does it smell? Like, you haven't seen how it smells yet right. and you're unveiling it? Yeah, but we're gonna go to Guatemala and build houses. They don't yeah, have once those. Yeah, Icon completes material testing, you haven't tested it yet? Like, yeah. like but we you, you took it to South by without like, Going inside one. That's the thing, and Andrew is pointing out like this is something they seek to you know solve the housing crisis in the world and for people who need this kind of shelter. Um, but it does look like a hipster tiny house, and they put it in Austin of all places <laughs> during South by. That's what it is, and then I think it really fully encapsulates to me like this hipster you know philanthropy, it's especially the last paragraph because they're like, but the company's already looking past the global housing crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Onto living off planet to create habitats in space. Like <laughs> housing homeless people, boring. Sexy space houses, yeah. I love it. what they said too. It's like, listen, there are other 3D printer houses, <laughs> but they all look like Yoda huts. Ours look like tiny houses on HGTV's Tiny House the Block. That's like, gonna solve the housing crisis. It's cool a cool houses. I get it, but like, what about the roof? The roof didn't look 3D printed. The roof looked. It's always something with you, Brett. It's yeah. I, I like the idea, but it's also like, this is super fun and easy. It's like, all right, bring the 3D printer up the hill of the favela. Like, I don't know, if it does work, it would be awesome. I don't see why not. If they, the idea that they can seamlessly take the entire house, put it together, they don't have to run conduit or anything or any additional, like, open up the drywall, run the, run the wires and everything. They can just put everything down in the same time. And it does, like, coincidentally, Look like a hipster house, so maybe it's less that like they're making a hipster house and that hipsters live in third world squalor. Like that's mm. what they seek to mimic. I don't know. What do you guys think? There's also a giant RV that got 3D printed, so not just 3D printing real homes, but mobile homes as well. Uh, let us know what you think on Facebook and Twitter.